Alrighty guys, so this is going to be a new tutorial on how to create your own light leaks in After Effects and use them as transitions for your video. So let's get started with the tutorial. So I have After Effects open right here and the first thing I want to do is go to layer, new solid, and create a new solid. And I'm just going to leave the color as black. Next let's go to effects and presets and search up fractal noise. And let's drag that onto our solid and then let's change the noise type to spline. And we're going to keep the fractal type as basic but change it to invert. And then let's bring the contrast up a bit. Um, I'm just going to go to 185 and then bring the brightness down. I'm just going to go to negative 48. And then let's change the complexity size to 1. Actually, I'm just going to bring the brightness down more a bit to negative 62. And then now let's go to transform, click the drop down, and let's scale it up a bit. Or like a lot a bit. <laughs> Um, let's scale it up. I'm just going to go to like 404. Okay, now I'm just going to move the offset turbulence so you guys can see the shape of the light leak. So I'm just going to move it up. And then let's go to our solid and then click the drop down to effects and the fractal noise. And we're going to go to evolution. And then you want to hold alt and then press the keyframe button while holding alt. And then it'll show this expression where you can type in time and the star and 400. So if we watch it back, the light leak is going pretty fast and it's basically we just made um not a keyframe but like an expression where this thing will never end. But if we lower the number to like 200, it'll go a bit slower. So as you can see, it's going pretty slow. So I'm just going to keep this number at 250. I think that's a pretty good number cuz I don't want it to be that slow but I want it to be pretty slow okay now to make this a colorful uh, light leak let's go to effects and presets and search up hue and then we're gonna add that to our clip and then let's check the box off for colorize and then if you drag the colorize hue up um, you can see like all the different colors so I'm just gonna make the color to um, this bluish color because I want my light leak to be blue and then I'm just gonna bring the color saturation up so that it's kind of a dark blue Okay, now I'm just gonna import some clips so I can show you guys how to make like a Transition with this and how it looks like on an actual clip Okay, so I brought in two clips now what I'm gonna do is with my solid I'm just gonna change the blending mode to add and You can actually use screen as well. So it's not really white I kind of actually like screen better, um, but you can see that the light leak isn't really moving that much. So let's go to our scale and let's bring that scale up a lot. So I'm just bringing the scale up all the way to 600. So now that light leak looks a lot better. If you want to use this as a transition and you don't like how light that light leak is, how the opacity isn't that strong. We can change the blending mode back to add, and then you could just click the drop down for the transform opacity, and you can make that opacity less, but that color is a lot more dominant than when it's screen. And then when you make a transition for it, the light leak will look a lot better because the colors will be a lot stronger than when the blending mode is on screen. So let's just keep it on add for now, but I really like the look of the screen if I'm not using it as a light leak. So to make this as a transition, I have my opacity at 37% right now because I like it that way. But I'm going to make press the keyframe button for where I want the transition to start. And then in the middle where the clip goes to the next clip, I'm going to make that opacity 100%. And then I'm going to go a couple frames forward and then change that to zero. Okay, so now the opacity goes stronger and then it fades out. But as a transition, you can't really see it that well, so I want to bring the scale up as well. So I'm going to press S for scale, and then I'm going to press the stopwatch, and then go a couple frames forward, and then bring that scale up a lot. Uh, I just went to 538. And then boom, if you watch it back, the opacity and scale combined together makes this cool little transition effect. And yeah. So basically, I taught you how to do a light leak and if you wanted to use it as a transition this is how so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe for more videos and comment below if you have any other tutorial ideas 
Thank you guys for all the love and support you've been giving me. And we're so close to 2,000, so thank you. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.